I'm going to do a poll in the chat. So this, I'm going to let you guys choose which video. You're going to get Foodie Bungus. All right, the audio sounds like a pretty, pretty good. All right, guys, so this is a Repzilla video. I got the memberships Lily paused. Became a member. I, I don't have the memberships paused. I'm going to pause them now. Thank you so much for the membership. <laughs> this is a video from Repzilla about Foodie Beauty. I feel like that's like a tongue twister. Um, Natter, Ele bro, these words, El El Elish Elshami is a big problem. Really good start to the video. If this is your first video I've ever seen of Papa Got, I'm sure you're going to stick around after I could barely pronounce that name. Let's get this. Let's get this going, fellas. My favorite intro. Hey, welcome back into today's video. We're going to be talking about a Dang. YouTuber Always named Foodie me. Beauty, a.k.a. Chantel Marie, and a very, very bad person named okay. Nadar Elshami. Now, That's Chantel helped to platform Nadar, who went on to be elected. Hey, there's it's always there's always a red flag when you got some super skinny dude dating some 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 big girl. You know what I'm saying, dude? It's true. You know, it's normal the other way though. It's okay for a big guy to date a skinny girl, just like just like the King of Queens. I'm just kidding, but uh, okay. Edged of essay of one of her own viewers. All right. This guy is currently under investigation in Montreal, Canada. Oh, it's like an actual open investigation? Okay. Well, that's good. And there's video evidence of him putting his hands on women. This is a terrible person, and we need to talk about him in today's episode of Exploring YouTubers. Nice. If you're unfamiliar... Oh, is this like a new th thing? Exploring YouTubers? Like a bit? Like a segment? I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Chantel is a YouTuber named Foodie Beauty who has a channel with over 90,000 subscribers where wow. she does long-winded live streams, uploads multiple of them a day. Very uh, long-winded live streams. <laughs> what a shot. Long ones. <laughs> and they usually involve some kind of food while she overshares about her life drama. I wish that there was less food and more, and more less foodie and more beauty. You know what I'm saying? I was, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's not because she's overweight. I'm just kidding. We're being a little too rude today. Okay. The main focus of today's video is going to be Nadar, but we do need to talk about some context to do with Chantel and her role in this situation. Uh, Nadar is a previous boyfriend of Chantel. One of the uh, first things you need to know is there's dating. a massive community that surrounds Chantel called Girl World, and they are very uh -huh. invested. There's an unofficial website as well as a Twitter. Now, this whole community is dedicated to Foodie Beauty and another YouTube channel called Amberlynn Reed, where Chantel is the reigning queen. And Chantel's uh, niche community within Girl World is called the Foodie Verse. Okay. This is an example of when the creator is not the entertainer, but the entertainment. Chantel's relationships have been a fascinating topic for okay. Girl World just because of the sheer toxicness of it all. Things like cheating on one of her first long-term boyfriends who goes by Pete's online with Damn. the man that she would leave him for called BB. I would have cheated on that guy too. That's sad. I mean, that sucks, but okay. And even though she cheated, Pete's remained friends with Chantel, which caused for some awkward situations. Like, <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Listen, I don't mean to be that guy. Cheating's always wrong. But I mean, bro, if you get cheated on and you're friends with the person who cheated on you, man... You gotta do some. You gotta cons You gotta do a little bit of reevaluation. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be rude, but come on, man. You gotta stick up for yourself a little better. You gotta stand up for yourself just a little bit better than that. Like I was gonna ask you if you know how bad it hurts to find out for sure that you've been cheated on, and you could say that yes, you don't. Because <laughs> I cheated on you. Did it hurt you? Mm -hmm. Are you really bad? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. She's a bitch. I don't know. I, I Did it don't... hurt you really bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I just want. It's just one of those things. I'm a little quirky. Period. Ah, period. Uh, sorry, I cheated on you. <laughs> That's what this kind of comes off as. I don't think she is. To me, this looks like a vicious cycle for Chantel, where she's either the cause of her own pain or she's causing pain. <laughs> <to> <laughs> What's up, Remzilla? How you doing, brother? <laughs> people in her life, just with different faces. Same vicious cycle, different people. This is an yeah, example true. of emotional masochism. Masochism? Mas Damn, I'm going to have to let it is masochism. Don't worry, I struggled saying Elshami in the beginning of this video, so <laughs> I don't need to feel bad about that. Like, figure out how to pronounce that. Masochism. Dude, that's exactly what I do in every one of my videos when I can't pronounce a word. I, I don't even move on from it. I draw attention to it. I just need to know what, how to say the word, you know, to save myself from future fucking embarrassment. This is an example of emotional masochism, which is participating in events, situations, and relationships that repeatedly damage your self-esteem. It's Damn. negative self-talk, it's needing approval from others, but never getting it. 
which I feel like is Chantel in a nutshell, but. That's, that just feels like uh, that feels like having like mommy issues. That's what I, we used to call them when I was younger, having mommy issues or something. You, know? you let me issues. know in the comment section below. Fast forward a few cycles later and enter Nadar El Shami, who, well, the red flags were there from the very start. Yeah. I'm going to explain to you how he came. That big fucking nose is a red flag. <laughs> Sorry. Into the picture. <laughs> so in the meantime, I'm talking to this other guy, this other guy, and he's not really my type. But the more I talk to him oh. and the more I see of him. If you catch my drift, the more hot he becomes to me. Egyptian guy that I'm talking to now. Oh. Um, he's from Just Egypt. Like... Or no, yeah, he's from Egypt, Alexandria, Egypt. Yeah, this Egyptian guy that I'm talking to right now. He's from my um I don't think it's Egypt. What do you mean? What are you doing? What are you doing, girl? How do I get to the top of this fucking thing? And he's a chef. So oh. he's always pushing me to come over and eat. Um Sounds like a feeder. Food. That's not the tea. The tea is hot. It's 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 we need to let the tea cool off. Okay. So the Egyptian guy is very wait. Is it like I don't know if it's like all Egyptian men, but he's very um pushy, like like bossy. Like tells me what Maybe. to do all the time. Like not tells me what to do, but like yeah, he tells me what like I should like. <clears throat> this video could have been over an hour, uh, Repsol. You should have made more of it. You should have wanted to fucking go crazy on it. He's very um he's looking for a relationship. It's like you're gonna come here and you're not gonna want to leave for like a week. And I was just like. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like in my experience, and this could just be anecdotal, but like a lot of the uh, like, guys that come from like other countries that like are migrated from other countries, they're usually a little bit more. Um, I don't want to say in like a bad way, but like a little more assertive, a little more. Uh, I don't want to say aggressive or controlling because I don't think that's the appropriate way to say it. But they tend to be a little bit more like traditional in their relationships, where like the man is a little bit more in control and the woman's not in control. I think there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Like you know, um, that's just been like an experience. So it's probably po it's possible. Sure. I'm gonna move in with him. He's like, I have a big apartment. I'm just like. He's like, you're exactly what I'm looking for. Everything about you. And I'm just like, you don't even know me. Like, if you think I'm the kind of woman that you can boss around, I'm going to piss you off a lot. Those are weird signs. I know. I know it's it's already so toxic. But like a part of me can't help it because he's so into me. Like it's flattering. like the bossiness a little bit. I don't know. It's like, okay. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> I I so. It's just dumb. When I say stuff like that, sure. it's like, wow, he's so angry and weird right from the get-go. Why would I hang out with him? So this dude was not hiding who he was from the start. Like the red flags were there, but she wasn't seeing it. And to drive the point. So far, like just based on this, I don't know if I'd call this a red flag or I've just called this like just kind of like a cultural difference almost. Uh, just saw it right off the jump. Uh, I think the biggest red flag is that I can't figure out how to get to the top of this fucking thing. It's making me really angry. Even further about the cycles. Well, when he would do things to harm her, like get her on uh, substances that are not the most legal, uh, what weight loss would, medication uh, or something? Completely miss it. So it was like two nights, like n not every single night that I was with him, we did hard stuff. It was like the one night and then like another night. What were was they like doing? A bad, bad, bad night where we just did like everything. What? <laughs> it's not funny, but it just made me like really sick. Like I was sick like for like two days, like in bed, like to message from you know who. And he's like, I finished work at four today. Can you come over? And I was like, I'm really sick. So no, well, come over. I'll take care of you. <laughs> I'm like, aw, that's so sweet. So because her personality is so invested in this type of behavior, she's completely missing the fact that he's putting her in harm's way. So it sounds like, you know, and that's perfectly possible. What it sounds like to me is potentially that they were experimenting with like party drugs. Um, which is something that's like, I wouldn't say common, but like, I wouldn't say something that's necessarily like intentionally abusive, even if it's like poor behavior. Um, okay. And on top of that, she can be seen to oh, also cool. want to uh, come back and harm him as well. Let's see what we got Thus here. the uh, cycle. When she can sit on him. <laughs> Just kidding. Right? It'd be kind of hot, though. All right, if I, if I don't hear from him in like an hour, I'm going to take edibles. Because if he says to bring his stuff, because he needs his clothes. I deleted all, I'm stupid. What the fuck? I deleted my apps. I just assumed he would just fall in love with me and just be like, oh yeah, no other girl matters, you know? <laughs> Think a little like, too much of yourself, girl. But just manipulate your feelings. Like, why? Why lie about who you are? Like, why lie that you're an honest person? And that you're a good person. <laughs> uh, I getting... believed him. You know okay. what? And I, you know what? I secretly, I knew. And I'm just like, whatever, I don't care. I just want to go and party. So again, it's not sweet that he- It, it, it sounds like this guy's kind of a fuck boy and like let her on a little bit. Uh, that's, that's that's the energy that's given me. And I want to take edibles if he doesn't answer me. And I'm gonna go do something else. I have more important things to do. Bitch, you don't got nothing more important to do. That's what the fuck we all know that. All right, we already know that. He 
wants to take care of you when he's the reason that you're unwell. He's a pain source for your cycle, and that's probably because he's a narcissistic sociopath. I'm going to give you some Possible. examples, like him admitting that he uh, deals hard. So, 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 so. He showed Bayman sent it to you 500. Oh, he's a drug dealer. All right. He showed Bayman 500? You want me to say for what? What the fuck is Neff? Oh, for cocaine. All right. Not only does he hold his cig. Is it me? Only because, like, I mean, that's you. You shouldn't be a drug. I don't know. Maybe it's where I mean, I didn't grow up in like the super hard area, but like, I don't know. Maybe, I think there's something wrong with me because I'm like a drug dealer. All right, it's not ideal, but I don't really care. Like, it, that's not as much of a red flag as it probably should be to, <laughs> to be some fucking drug dealer. It's like, all right, whatever. Cigarette like that, but he also brags about stabbing people. Yeah, he stabbed someone. Because they have balls. Yeah, see, that's not. And I... <laughs> is, it, is it me? Am I the problem here? Because he's like, I stabbed somebody. It's like, yeah, I get that. I'm not trying to be a fucking asshole, but like, I mean, I get... I mean, I've never stabbed somebody, but I fought before. You know what I mean? Like, man, maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I'm the fucking problem. Is Willie Mac in the chat too? What's up, brother? I paid for it. I went to jail. Oh, at least he went to jail. All right. Actually, two, not one. That's true. You want to see the truth? Actually, I said it before. There's also countless videos of him disrespecting women online. Sounds like he might have been. I mean, if he's a drug dealer that stabbed someone before, he might have been like in the gang or something. You know what I mean? You know, all about that thug life, brother. All about that thug life. Escape the streets, brother. Gotta escape the streets. Um, but I want to show you some of the ways that he talked to Chantel. I'm not getting weight. So, but I feel it right now. You change the type of food you eat. You keep stuffing yourself with oil. Well, yeah, we're having fried potato no, chips later. No, he tells you. Oh, yeah. If you just move your ass a bit, you're lose weight. I don't want to stop going live. I like hanging out with you Bro. guys. No, he like, like, oh, dude, I don't know. Is my experience like these more traditional guys? Like, yeah, that's shitty the way he's talking to her. Uh, it's a little shitty. I mean, fundamentally, motivating her to lose weight is not a bad idea. Saying they eat healthy, but you know, I don't know. And maybe he's just a blunt speaker. Maybe he is abusive, but he also just might be like, hey, you got to move your ass a little bit. Like, you know, they're dating and then trying to motivate yourself to lose weight. It's kind of hard to talk to somebody who's like really obese about losing weight. Like, I am really obese. It's difficult to talk to people like that about how like they should lose weight in like a healthy manner. It can be a little difficult. I wouldn't instantly say it qualifies as him being like uh like an abusive guy. So far he's just a drug dealer that used to be in the gang and that's telling her that she should just move her fat ass, you know what I mean? Um he doesn't sound like a red flag at all to me. So just kidding. You didn't say that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think you said move your ass to lose weight. Did you say that? I didn't hear that. <laughs> I think you fat shame me and you're mean. <laughs> you ask to lose weight. I tell you change in the food. Oh, wait, did she ask to lose weight? Hey, man, you're mean. <laughs> you ask to lose weight. I tell you, you're changing the food. Oh, well, if, especially if she asked to lose weight, then maybe he's just a blunt speaker. And that's why he said it like that. Yeah. Be more healthy for your body, but doesn't make you lose weight. You lose weight when you move your ass. Yeah. No, but you're attra like at my size, you're attracted to me as I am now, right? That's what they, they think you're not attracted to me. Damn. That's harsh. Why is he dating her? <laughs> wait, wait, well, wait, why is he dating her then if he's not attracted to her? What's what's happening here? He won't. Why do you have this thing? Normally. This for what? Can you massage it, please? I see it only in the camel. <sighs> it's called a fat hump. Hump? Itch my back down more a little. No, that's danger here. Down a little bit why? more. Why? What? Until here, and that's it, that's my limit. Oh, thank you. Hold what? <laughs> Let the farts begin. No, please. Hey, please. No, the chicken. Since you feel anything not normal, Uber right away. <laughs> oh, he's making a joke about how he'll have to call. She'll have to call an Uber if she starts to feel like shit in some capacity, because he's not taken to the hospital with all those farts. I think that's what he's saying. Yeah. This has to be like that. Especially when I have this guy here. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> This is yeah, his. Yeah, just the. Uh... Chantal the chauffeur. Excuse me. What is he doing? Oh, oh. he's cleaning his glasses on her. Is that yours? 
don't know. I do that with my wife sometimes. Like sometimes if she's wearing a material of shirt that would be good for cleaning my glasses, I'll do that. Sandra, eight dollars. Kiss Chantal, please. <laughs> I need eighty dollars. Uh oh. Sandra, fifteen. Kiss her now. Sandra. <laughs> now you have to do it. Matter? Is it is he actually not attracted to her or is this less like them is it he's just teasing her? I mean I think that's a very important question. I wonder what to which one of those. how to play soccer. What is that? Yeah. We need somebody to play with this soccer. <laughs> <laughs> it's still mean, but Are you saying I'm a soccer ball? What do you think? Nice Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. It's more than that. <laughs> Wait, he wiped off her kiss? What do you think? That's so sad. No. It's more than that. <laughs> what do you think, One in, one, one. Yeah, Jillian, I, I hate cardio. Bro. Just... Like she ever do. Hmm? What's his cardio? I never see you, dude. I walked around, remember? Oh my goodness. So you can already see that the dude is aggressive, uh, overly aggressive, but she actually admits that he put hands on her. And after all this... So far, we're going to get to the hands on this. So far, it doesn't uh, It doesn't seem like he was like, super aggressive. It's. It seems like he maybe is just with her for the money. Um, or he, this is just like their banter. Uh, he's probably a little fat phobic, you know. Okay. This, after all he's made me feel... He sends me a picture on, on Messenger of it's an obese dog with my face on it. Oh After my you, god. You scream and grab you screamed in my face and grab my face. He like really, really scared me. <laughs> he was screaming at my face, running around the room. Cigarette came really close to me again when he was screaming at me. I can see why that's really time. scary. And he grabbed my face and no, I'm a fan. that's a so obviously, and yes, there was a lot of red flags from the start, and to this I wanna say that if somebody shows you who they are, believe them the first time. It'll save you a lot of pain. And if you're the type of person who feels like they want that pain, then there's therapy. Now, one of the things I want to get through in this video is that Chantel is directly responsible for platforming Nadar, meaning that she knew how he was, what he was capable of, and gave him access to her viewer base. I mean, she even made his account. As was revealed in a video that Rebzion posted about this situation, I'm going to put that in the description below if you guys want to check that out. You need to keep that same energy all the way off with it and accuse YouTube of giving him a platform because you see Repsion, as smart as you are you fail to realize that creating a YouTube channel is as easy for anybody in any language as a click of a button and then any idiot well I'm assuming that he was just mentioning that like you gave him like a platform in the past in the, like the sense of viewership um, I don't think that that was super difficult to extrapolate there from what was being said. Um, knows what generalized form comes after that. Every single thing, I literally made the account. So you just admitted that you were the idiot who created okay. his YouTube channel. He gave you the idea, you took all the other proper steps to do it. Not only did she make his account, but she edited his videos. Go there for a few hours out of the day to film him his video, eat. No, I'm not editing for him anymore. I'm not doing anything for him anymore at all. I did enough. Makes his own money now. Like, you don't need me anymore, so. She quite literally did everything for him. She made his account, showed him how to do YouTube, had him on her channel. He was in her his channel. Uh, he, I mean, she was doing everything for him. She even paid for his internet and a phone. Like, I watch you. I, I personally wouldn't, um shit on her too much for platforming this guy. Only because, like, you know, when you're in love, the... Uh, or you think you're in love, like, you know, you don't interpret everything. The Sometimes you have blinders on. So her platforming him in some capacity was probably because she didn't see the things that he was doing as, as negative. Um, as they could, as they were, you know, or may have been. I wouldn't give her too much shit, you know what I mean? Because doesn't that, that would, cause to me that kind of sucks. Like, oh, I was in a really bad relationship with this guy, treating me like shit, and then... <laughs> And then on top of that, it's like, ah, oh, it's your fault that he's even successful. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I feel bad for her in the first place, man. You know what I mean? Watch your live stream and watch your videos. 
and everything right down to the spices you're using are mine. And the things that he's right. done as a creator since she's brought him on, have it's it's made YouTube a very unsafe place in that niche community. It's uh, what's one of the content doing? Pure havoc. And there's even uh, someone alleged that Nadar S aid them, and this was a viewer. A viewer of Chantel's. On October 24th, 2021, a user named May Anderson uploaded a video saying this. Um. <sighs> Through uh, Chantel's Booty Booty's channel, I found um, Chef. Nader El Shami's channel. And, um, okay. enjoyed watching him make food and his presence and all that. So, I decided to send a friend request. May says that she sent a request to Nadar, which progressed to them meeting in Canada where the essay took place. She says this. And he invited me to hang out with him to see the sights and to try some of his food. So once I found a place to stay in Gatineau, I told him where I was, what room I was in, with the, with the deal to be just that, go around, sightsee. When he came to my room, he didn't even say hi or anything. He just grabbed me and pushed me backwards and told me that we have to get these clothes off. And the next thing I knew, I was um, in the bed. to pound my kitty into the ground and that no matter what I said he wasn't going to stop till he was done so eventually it was over he put his clothes on and took a out of alcohol, out of a pill bottle looking thing. And uh, he didn't say a word to me. He just left. This is a heartbreaking story. Keep in mind this. Jesus, that's fucking terrible. Um, wow. God damn. The only thing I'm going to say, though, is that I wouldn't blame Foodie Beauty for, like, this happening. That's the one thing that I would say. Um, I wouldn't blame her for this happening. I, that's one of the biggest things. Because I know that that's part of, like, some of the, 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 the factors here is, like, Foodie Beauty, you, you know, you you gave this guy a platform, et cetera, et cetera. I don't think that she gave him a platform knowing that he was uh, a set, like a, a fucking rapist. I mean, that's what that was. Um you know, it, it, I, I, that was a very credible story. I mean, you know what I mean? Um, Jesus Christ. But I wouldn't blame her for it. I think that, like, putting the blame on her in any capacity is taking away from what he did. Because he did this thing. What he did was horrible. You know what I mean? And I don't think that it's reasonable to, to assume that she was like, yeah, I knew he did these things. It was fine with me. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I would say. It's totally on him, you know? This is a man who admits openly criminal behavior. <laughs> Okay, that's fucking crazy. 
الوهم اللي انت عايش فيه فكت منه ما تعديش مجالك عندك خط ما تعديهوش هنيك عرضك انا اعرف هنيك عرضك امك هنيك يعني هتتكلم امك هنيك بلاش انا عشان هقل اقلب عليك وهجيبك او انت عارف ان هجيبك بلاش ما تخليش احطك في دماغي ما تخلينيش احطك في دماغي قبل ما هكسر عينك واكسرها يعني هخليك هكسر عينك وهكسرك قبل ما اكسر عينك قبل ما هكسر عينك خليش احطك هكسرك والله هكسرك بس هتقل ادبك امك البعيده هنيك وهنيكك انت كمان ما هزرش يا ابني ما هزرش انا حبيبي ما انتش قد يلا بلاش ابعت لك زياره عشان اقول لك هشوفك تعالى قابلني هتضحك كتير هبعت لك زوار الزوار بتاعي وحشين يلا في مطل اه هتنهي الموضوع Oh yeah, it sounds like I mean it sounds like this guy's a fucking it sounds like this guy used to be in like a fucking gang or something. يا حبيبي بلاش انا بلاش انا عشان امك وعيلتك هناك وانت اولهم هاخدكم بالدور. بلاش 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 لا عشان هي الادب. اسمع دي قبل ما هكسر عينك واكسركم تتقطع تتعب بنصاص. Nadar and Shetel's relationship finally came to an This end and he started okay. dating a girl named DD where there was a live stream where he was seen to put his hands on her as well but this was much more intense she mm. always done with me and he wants to tell her husband and he wants to tell my tomorrow you will see that's amazing tomorrow you will see wow that's a great person her phone name gonna be inside tomorrow uh-huh oh coward i'm not coward i'm not coward what the I'm not coward. Hey, he just threw his cigarette at me, I'm and not he coward. just threw his, his thing at me. I'm not coward. He's throwing his cigarette at me. And don't fucking send me coward again. Wow, okay. Wow. I'm not coward. And don't send me coward again. And nobody scared me. Because I scared from people to eat people. Me, I eat people. You don't know me. You don't know me. You, you don't are. know me. Stay where you are. Do not come back here. You don't know me. Stay where you are. You just slapped me across the face so hard. It's not your business. You just slapped me across the face. And shut up, too. Uh, Jesus you Christ. Shushu. I'll show you how she's... Don't talk to me. Oh, my God. You're a mother. Okay. Don't talk to me that way. I'll be on it. Okay. Don't talk to me that way. Okay. I'm not okay. going to go out there. Okay. I'll be on it. Okay. Don't talk to me that way. Okay. 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 Jesus fucking Christ. How many times do you say coward? Huh? How many times? Huh? How many times? You shut up now. And Dean and Lachala, Dean Omek. What? Something else? Huh? Something else? And tomorrow she's boxed. And I who's her? I who's your friend? Huh? You hear me? You hear me? Jesus fucking Christ, what a fucking scum loser, weak piece of shit, man. Um, um this is fucked. It's fucked up too, because like I wonder if they even felt comfortable calling the police on this guy who's like threatening now it sounds like he's threatening their family as well. Me? You know, me up? Go call the police. You're dead. Dead. Yep. There Remember you go. the thing? God take her from me. Because I was going to do his job. I get out of the jail. If she's alive, she's dead. And if I go to jail one day for some time, she's dead. Don't tell me she don't know who evil I am. You don't know who evil I am. Coward. I don't know who's those. Not who's those. You see this? I need it. This road, I will just take it out with my teeth. Not with my hands. Don't I tell you? You're not going to wish to see me fight. Jesus. Because you're not going to like me at all. This was such a traumatic experience for Dee Dee that she actually calls out for her deceased father. It's terrible. Anyone that shouldn't eat people, but I'm eat people. I am. Daddy. What? What? What you saying? Daddy, please help me. Who? Daddy, my father. I want to help me. She worked hard to see this one. Coward. 
Sit down. Sit down. You will hear scans from jail. This is, this is not jail. You don't see real jail. This jail, when I don't talk the language, I was in both in your jail. In here. This jail vacation. You don't see real jail. Here jail, they have to feed, they have their own cell. Right? You don't see other jail, how it looks like. Ah, they're playing tough. No, sorry, white people, I'm not tough. Sorry. Your criminal here is not tough. Clearly, this is a very unhinged person, very vile person. This is not a man. Like, uh, this, is, this is like, uh, in, insert insert your own words uh, in comment section below. Can I do that? This situation also shows exactly. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I just laugh at that. He's like, can I do that? We just had a really fucking horrible uh, segment. Am I allowed to say comment section below? I get it. I'm not criticizing him. It's just like, uh, it was actually. Uh, I guess a little bit of levity that we kind of needed there. The, the, okay. uh, more about the character of Chantel herself, because when she heard about these things happening, she not only was okay with it, but was saying, was blaming DD for these things, even though Chantel went through similar, uh, situation and knows that uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's gross, man. Punched in the face by her ex. Do you like, oh, who cares, Mizu? Send another dollar seventy nine British pound that you need. You need to stop shaming people. You need to stop telling people how to process traumatic events in their life, okay? I've done some stupid and said some stupid in my life, all right? But none of that, none of that has anything, any relation to me having been in a of relationship. I see him being violent to her. I don't care. I don't. I don't. Why? He can do whatever the f he wants to her and she'll eat it up because her ex gave her several black eyes and she doesn't give a f She's like, yes, another please. Here, here. Hit me. Yeah, because you're a low life piece. Of you love it. You f love. You f she has more plaster patches on her condo walls. All right, guys, I lied. You can blame her for uh, everything. You can blame her. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck? Why would you? Why? Jesus fucking Christ. There's more? He? Oh no. Mm. You know who's going to be the punching bag later? Seriously. I'm not kidding. Like, nobody gives a f we saw him wail on you and cry for your dad and you still are with this looking like a bowl of chips is the fact that you don't love yourself i do not feel one percent bad for anything that happens to Didi. i don't give a f i don't care i don't care why is she why is she acting like this like I just, I, I is anybody have any context as to why she's acting like this? It doesn't make it right, but I don't understand. I don't understand the unhinged behavior here. I really just don't get it. What's the what? What? Why? What the fuck is happening here? Like this is real. What a real piece of shit, garbage person. Listen, being in an abusive relationship, which now that I, we're seeing all this, it's possible that Booty Beauty was in an abusive relationship with this guy. Now that like now that we're kind of getting towards the end of it, um, she should know. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe he wasn't abusive to her. I don't know how, but um, it's not as easy just leaving the person. There's like fear of threat. There's like you know, like fear of getting hurt in some capacity. It's not as easy just be like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be with this person, or you know what I mean. Um, peace out, guys. Bye. You know, it's not like it's easy. It's just saying peace out, bye. You know, um. Jesus. Nope. Even if more videos come out, I don't care. I have a dead heart for any of those people. Even if I see him being violent to her, I don't care. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I'm an empath. Now, of course, Goral World was documenting all of this stuff, and some of the reaction channels a part of the community were posting on YouTube. Some of their videos, which I used in this video. People were posting these videos trying to show exactly how terrible of a person that Nadar was, on their channels, Nadar was false striking these videos and putting their channels in jeopardy. I mean, there's a mass, like over a hundred false strikes. Here's a few on screen. Well, here's my thing because, um, like, that obviously is really shitty behavior that he's doing. 
I would like for somebody to explain to me why YouTube hasn't st- uh, done anything about this, though. Like, that's the big question. I like YouTube as a platform. I think it's great, to be th- th- like honest with you. But the fact that it seems to be so easy to put in false copyright strikes to me is fucking unhinged. It's fucking unhinged. It's so much so that Insider did an article looking into this, and the writer Tanya Chin tweeted, Municipal police for Montreal and its neighboring districts told me that they've launched an investigation into well, matters on YouTube involving... Nadar El Shami. The police department will not comment further to not impede on an active investigation. That makes so sense. Nadar is out here weaponizing YouTube's own system against itself, saying Well, here's what I'll say. Like the 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 fact that they're investigating it is like always the outcome. The existence of the video on the internet doesn't matter at all. You know what I mean? Uh, other than to draw attention to um, you know, the police the cap the, you know, apprehending this guy and like, I don't know, killing him or something. I don't know. Uh, it sounds like a it sounds like an appropriate response. Um, I'm happy that that that's that matters more than I think anything else. Um, definitely matters more than anything else. You know that if anyone made any videos on him, that he was going to not only strike those videos, but then go to videos that didn't even include him and take those down as well, effectively uh, terminating everyone's channel that tried to talk about this. I will. To use my right again. So if you have one video using my content in your channel before I take it down, I'm going for the rest. Okay. Well done, yeah. Is that girl that's with him right now um, the girl that he was fucking abusing in the video? Is that the girl? YouTube saying that I have a right. If you use my content, there is no edit to it. Like what well, Tanya told you instead of YouTube. Because you know already before you ask. What you give me right to do one, will give me right to do 100 of my content you use. That's because funny. I see a lot of uh, videos. I truly wonder, I know this is like a, I truly wonder why she stays with him. Like if it is a fear thing, that's totally understandable. Or I wonder if it is like a poor relationship with like abuse in some capacity. Like it's horrible um, what some people actually think. And it, it's it can be based off of like previous experiences, potentially like with from their family that like this type of behavior, like getting treated like this is love. Some people actually think that way. I think that's the most fucked up part about it too. This was hiding the coward. They come back. Private them. The wave's gone. They will back. Guess what? All what you put them back, I'm start to do them again. The interesting thing about this is because in the past, he actually gave channels permission to use his content. And it was only when they started showing the things that he did to the world that he started false striking. Since I don't touch your content, don't touch mine. You need to react. React. Million of you. That's not me at all. That being said, I have seen and I even had my own videos be taken down before for uh, false and slanderous reasons. So if that happens, then you guys have full permission to download this video and re-upload it if that were to happen. To be clear, false strikes would likely result in his own channel termination. But I have seen it in the past where smaller channels with less pull get screwed over and things just fall through the cracks like that. Now, hopefully by raising awareness about the situation, there's going to be more eyes on it. YouTube's going to take notice. That's the overall goal to get terrible people like this off of the platform i've seen that this dude is even using the copyright system in a way when you do appeal these kind of false strikes you do have to give up your personal information to the other party yep. and when the information comes through on his side he's been using this and weaponizing it against other creators to scare them into silence this is not that's, good that's like the biggest fear part too is like yeah you might as well just take the video down because if they're gonna get your fucking name and information like it scares the fuck out of you dude like you don't know these people are hinged on the internet you don't know what the fuck they're gonna do with it good from the insider article it says the youtubers against whom he's initiated strikes are caught in a precarious bind either they allow him to remove their content or they attempt to fight the strike which means offering up their personal information to him last thursday in a live stream al shami revealed one of the people's physical address which they submitted in an attempt to overturn the strike against them. Jesus so he's taking Christ. these creators' information and he's doxing them on live stream with full intent to harm them. I'm not sure why YouTube hasn't stepped in and done something other than he's just a smaller creator. 
so hopefully this video brings attention to it at least some more when he's done other things like expose himself in live streams Right, Chicky Bum. Said you has your eyes open. That is. <laughs> Nadir. Oh my God, Nadir. So after this, so after. Somebody said apparently he has refugee status. After he took his pants off like so after he took his pants off like this uh dd then goes in uh gives him a uh inappropriate favor on said live stream now this has since been clipped okay. out of the live stream but this actually happened damn we need to watch it <laughs> what the fuck yeah i'm not showing that Again, there's currently an ongoing investigation. Guy's even got his own petition on change.org to be removed from YouTube. He's got all the hallmarks of somebody that should be permanently removed from the platform. And to top it off, he's a scammer saying he's a chef when he's actually preying on vulnerable viewers. So the guy says he's, he's a chef, but look at this chicken that he's cooked here. It's literally pink on the middle. That's absolutely disgusting. So again, this dude's preying on vulnerable viewers and a change needs to happen. YouTuber Ripzion had a good idea in his video coverage of this where he, he did a charity on his video called ABUSE Holds No Gender. As you guys know, I like to do charities towards this type of thing. Last year, raising over $10,000 for uh, rain to help uh, people in vulnerable situations just like this. I think at the end of the uh, year, we actually raised closer to 15000 So I'm going to be doing a charity in this Good video man. as well. It should be Good below man. a mobile to the right on desktop. If you feel like you have extra money or you, this is a cause that you want to support, please do. And I appreciate you for it. Let me know if you've donated in the comment section below. That being said, I want to know what you guys think about this video. So leave your creative or interesting comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up for those likes. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. This was an intense video. It's going to all right, yeah, that certainly was an intense video. Jesus Christ. Okay, guys. Well, I'm happy I watched that video because it was a good video. It was very revealing, especially, you know, towards the middle end there. But God damn, bro. I, this, is, this has been a heavy fucking stream, dude. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, Go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.